Okay, JM on the fly. Today I'm going to tie my JM Isonychia and Isonychia Nymph, Slate Drake. That's what it turns into when it's an adult. But the nymphs are swimmers and they're big and they're in almost every creek. And uh, any really good trout creek has them. And uh, you'll see the casings along the rocks, just like you do stoneflies. They, these, these actually swim to the side of the bank, crawl out on a rock and hatch. And they become slate drakes. Let me show you a close up of this guy and show you how to tie it. We got a longer hook. Uh, these are these bodies on these flies are a little bit longer, so again, let me just uh, zoom in on this, get that in the center, and get it kind of focused here. And if you look at that, one of the characteristics is they usually have that white line coming right down when they're ready to hatch because they bust right open and the, and the adult comes out of that casing. We got a little peacock tail, which I think is probably the best imitation of the tail because basically all they have is like a little flat fan uh, that kind of just pushes around when they swim. And uh, again, they have gills along the side. We use a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of peacock for that and besides that that's pretty much it it's like a like a like a large betis is really what it is so let's get let's get this off the vise and get a hook in here and get this baby tied i have oh oh we could do a 90 90 94, 870, you know, something like that. Uh, if you have a Mustad, if not, maybe a Tiamco 100, a 1X, 2X long. And basically, we're going to start with that hook. Regular 6 aught thread. And let me get this leg down here so it's a little bit clearer for you to see. Center that up a little bit more. And here we go. Going to wrap our thread to the back. Let me get my scissors. I'm a little unprepared here. There we go. Okay. I tie my flies on another vise right alongside me, and then I come over here to do my video. So, basically, everybody has this junk peacock around, so that's a perfect place to use this for the tail. Just grab a little cluster of it. Doesn't really matter how many pieces, and just tie that in. Let that stick out the back. Again. Just so you end up with a little fuzz ball there. And it's a it's a short tail. It's a short little fan tail. So that'll do just fine for that. We'll trim off our excess. We're going to go with a piece of white wire. And this is fine. Or brassy. Take that white, white wire and we're going to tie that right in. And we're going to keep that right in the center of the top. The shank. <coughs> We're also going to tie a piece of, uh, you know, this is rose. Same thing, a brassy. And that's a rose wire. Rose colored, I guess is what it is. Uh, I tie these in kind of a kind of a dark maroon. They're almost black when you see them on the creek banks, but they do have a little bit of a of a red or pink tint to them. When they're swimming in the water, so I want to I want to fish the live version, not not the dead casings that you're seeing on the side of the creek. We're gonna take a piece of some peacock. I got something here pink. Gives a nice little contrast. I kind of like this. Gives a good contrast between the darker body and the. Uh, I'm gonna take a piece of this fiber and darker body or abdomen and what would be the gill place. So I'm going to take a piece and I'm going to tie that to my side. Just like that. I'm going to take another piece and tie it to the camera side. I'll just lay it on in there. and There we go. I'm going to wrap that in so it's on the camera side there. And now we're ready for for a little fly. This is a little, this, this is a little more, you know, a little bit more complicated than some of the other ties, but I think a few of these things, uh, uh, you need to take the time to do it. You need to take the time to show them them gills, and the way to do that is with that peacock. 
and then entrapping this whole thing into a into a nice little wrap. So we're going to start with our body, basically using a fine dubbing, and I like to use a very dark maroon, and I'm going to wrap that up right here to the front. And kind of not even not even a tapered body. It could be almost flat because these things are kind of almost cylinder cylinder shape. Again, take your peacock. And I'm going to keep that right to my side. And I'm going to tie that in. Take the one towards the camera and keep it right to the camera side. And I'm going to tie that in. Stroke those fibers back. You see we got them hair sticking out. They indicate the gills on this fly. I'm going to take our white. We're going to come right down the middle. Right on top. Okay. That's going to show that case splitting. They have, a, they have a definite defined white line right down the middle of them when they're ready to hatch. Now you want to lightly take your rib and just slowly come through here and just catch whatever you can so that you still have the gills sticking out. And you could kind of move them if you need to. You want you want to see them gills sticking out. If you look to the side you can see it kind of looks like gills sticking out the side. Their gills are on the abdomen on these swimming nymphs on this Isonicki. So we're going to take that and pull the white wire back and I'm going to cut all the other stuff off. Peacock and the, red, and the rose colored wire we're going to get rid of. I'm going to come back and tie onto the body a little bit. <clears throat> And then we are going to use, if I hear a go, going to use thin skin, about a quarter inch wide. I'm going to lay that thin skin right on top. This is going to be our wing case. And that looks about right. And I'm going to use some darker maroon colored crystal flash or ice dubbing I'm sorry ice dubbing and we're going to tie that dub that on onto your line onto your thread and we're going to kind of build up a nice little nice little thorax here I'm going to take an Indian hen back I got one here that I already started snip out that tip and we'll just comb out a couple or pull out a few fibers. And I like these babies to be kind of down under the fly. I kind of like them sitting down under the fly. I'm going to hold this like this. And I'm going to angle them down like that. We're going to come right up over the top and tie that in. You can see we kind of make them babies stick just the way we want them. Just like that. Down and away. I'm going to take my thin skin with the white right over the top and I'm going to tie that right in just like that. Reach back, come into your head, come right down on it, snip that off. And then just simply complete your head, make a nice little head on that guy. Just like that. Whip finish, and I will spin this guy in the vise then to show you what we end up with. And what we end up with is a nice little Isonychia nymph, and I could probably even zoom in on that even more. There we go. Nice little Isonychia nymph with the fan tail perfect little swimming nymph and again you can fish this on a little bit of a swing too remember these swim so you don't have to fish this dead drift or anything like that you want to fish this maybe with a little bit of motion a good tag team is this and a betis and a swimming betis so you're fishing the swimming isonychia and the swimming betis you can fish them like wet flies you could drop them down and then slowly work them up back up and trottle pound them that is the jm isonychia uh, nymph Jam on the fly, and I'm out of here.